Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. I'm sorry for going a week without posting a video. I've had some pancreas problems, so I've been taking it easy on my doctor's advice. Um, but hey, I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. And uh, we have a lot to talk about in today's video. Now, before we start, I just want you guys to know that we now have an official Secure Team Instagram account. For those of you who have Instagram on your phones or your computers, be sure to follow it. Uh, I post videos, fan photos, and more, and it's really just another social media outlet that I can get the information out to you, uh, as well as when I post a new video. So check out the Instagram link down in the video description below. Follow, I would really appreciate it. And also, I just want to thank all of you that have joined the Secure Team Discord, which is now almost to 8,000 members within a single week. It's totally amazing. We're having some awesome discussions and voice and video chats over there. So if you didn't see my last video, go back and watch it, and it shows you what Discord is, how to use it, and I'd love to see you there. I'm almost there um, in the chat every single night, so be sure to head over. So now, getting to the first and main and most popular topic everyone's talking about. They're talking about it. They're asking about it on Discord. I'm getting emails regarding it. The Pentagon Report. This report that is due to come out sometime this month where the Pentagon is going to tell us what it knows about UFOs and whether these leaked videos and images we've been seeing lately are of an alien nature. And everyone has been seriously excited about this. Disclosure has finally come. But I've told you guys in several videos, do not get your hopes up. And I certainly didn't get mine up because we've seen this before, and well, what do you know? The Pentagon's UFO report was leaked to the New York Times or somebody else, but then made its way to the New York Times. And as predicted, the US government is staying mum when it comes to admitting anything. Because like I've said before, why would the very people that perpetuated the 70 year lie suddenly come out and tell the truth? And so here is one of the articles here talking about this new report and that basically what it says is that the U.S. has found no evidence of alien technology in these flying objects but can't rule it out either. From the article, the American intelligence officials have said that they have found no evidence that aerial phenomena witnessed by Navy pilots in recent years are alien spacecraft, but they still cannot explain the unusual movements that have mystified scientists and the military, according to senior administration officials briefed on the findings of the highly anticipated government report. So in a nutshell, guys, here is what happened. The report was leaked, and basically the, the, the Pentagon, they said that they reviewed some 115 or so UFO sightings, uh, both videos and images taken from the Navy and elsewhere. And what they found was zero evidence that these craft were of an alien nature. Now, what they also said was that these craft in these videos were also not United States technology, sort of hinting at China or Russia. But I think we all know that that's not true. These things are alien in nature, and I'm confident in saying that. The technology being used here and that we're seeing in our skies is light years beyond anything that we have on Earth right now. So I said this before, and I hate to, you know, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. So don't expect anything when the full report comes out because i gave you the gist of it it's already been leaked and i was talking on discord last night we had about an hour long uh, video chat where i was on video voice chat and we were discussing this and people have been conditioned to only believe that the alien phenomenon is real once the government puts its stamp of approval on it we can't think like that, guys. Disclosure has already happened. It's happened on channels like mine and through other researchers throughout the years. We do not need the stamp of approval from the government or the Pentagon to prove that the alien phenomenon is real. It is here. Disclosure has come. And disclosure continues to happen as we move on. It will be never-ending. And so here's a short clip where Louis Elizondo, the man who allegedly worked inside the Pentagon's secret UFO tracking program gives his take on the new Pentagon report. So check this clip out, and I apologize in advance for the sound of this woman's voice. 
We can't get enough of it either. It is time for more conspiracy theories. The truth is out there. But don't count on the government to give it to you. The Pentagon's tell all the report on the UFOs expected to be released to the public any day now after admitting that, yeah, UFOs are regularly spotted in U.S. airspace. But whistleblower Luis Elizondo is not confident we're going to learn what the government actually knows about unidentified aerial phenomena and where they came from. We can't trust the government to do most things right, so can we really expect them to be honest about flying saucers? Joining me now, former director of the Pentagon's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program and star of Unidentified on History, Lou Elizondo is here. Uh, welcome back to the show, my friend. Thank you so much for having me back. Always a pleasure. Why do they think we can't handle the truth? Well, I don't know if it's a matter they don't think we can handle the truth about the topic or about the dysfunction that's that's currently going on inside the Pentagon. Look, the Pentagon does a lot of things right, and it's, and it's comprised of some, some fantastic human beings. But unfortunately, about this topic specifically, there seems to be some significant amount of dysfunction where even internally the Pentagon can't get, get their story straight. Are there two camps? Is there is there disagreement here? Are there people who are like, hey, man, let's follow the evidence, and others who are like, no, we can never admit that. Leave me alone. You know, that, that's certainly possible. I mean, we just had a stunning admission that for the first time in, in, well, the history of this country, that what we're seeing is not secret U.S. technology. So for the last 30 years, there's been some conspiracies about this being some sort of secret U.S. tech and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But this week, it looks like that argument was put to bed. And really, there's only two more options left. One is it's adversarial technology, or two, it's something quite significantly different. And I think people are trying to, to wrap their heads around that right now. Do you think it's possible that the Chinese government has already developed hypersonic craft. Well, we, we know they're looking at hypersonic craft, but that's not in total to what we're seeing. We're seeing things such as, uh, you know, instantaneous acceleration and transmedium travel and low observability and, and what appears to be some sort of anti-gravity. Look, these things don't even have wings, cockpits, control surfaces, or any obvious signs of propulsion, and, and they're able to outperform anything we have in our inventory, and we're pretty sure it's not in any foreign inventory as well. Okay, so there you have it. These things are out there. We've shown many videos and clips of them. They come in many forms, such as the triangle that you were seeing right here during the STS-103 mission, where um, they caught this black triangular craft uh, in two separate frames moving away in the distance. Here you're seeing some close-ups. And here is another photograph but we're going to get to that lastly. It's a very, very interesting image during one of the other uh, STS uh, space shuttle missions. And I'm going to save that for last because it's pretty mind-blowing. Um, and it goes to show that you don't need the Pentagon to uncover the evidence of alien contact with us. But first, here is a piece of infrared footage that was not leaked from the Pentagon or from some pilot but from a simple user on Reddit who is filming the night sky. Here you're seeing the post, and the video is titled Birds, Satellites, Plane, and a UFO that changes direction. So you're gonna watch the video and he will point out everything you're seeing. First, you're gonna see a bird, then a satellite, then a plane, and then you are going to see one of these craft displaying alien-like technology moving through the sky and then making a very sharp, fast change in direction, defying physics altogether. So check this out, clip that was posted in r slash UFOs. Okay, so this is amazing footage here, and if you didn't see it, I'll go ahead and zoom in. But we see the birds and the planes flying by and the satellites. Then we see this object coming down from the top 
down. It's going down in a vertical motion, flying through the sky, when suddenly, from our perspective, it makes a very sudden stop and then jolts to the right at a very high rate of speed before being lost in the fading atmosphere. And it's amazing footage. Uh, I did not have to, you know, have this leaked by some super secret person in the Pentagon and do 300 interviews on local and national news stations to get it. This evidence is out there. And this is, I think, a piece of footage that's better than most of the footage that's been leaked from the Pentagon. And so, yeah, really, really cool stuff posted in um, r slash UFOs on Reddit. And now for the finale, yet more evidence that we have been visited and for years now. So what you're seeing here is an image, a photograph that was snapped by a man inside of the space shuttle. Now this was the Discovery space shuttle and it was captured during the STS-103 mission, which was a Hubble Space Telescope servicing mission by the Space Shuttle Discovery. The mission launched from Kennedy Space Center, Florida on December 19th, 1999 and returned on December 27th, 1999. And so we have the Hubble Telescope up there. You guys have all heard of the Hubble Telescope. And so they sent the shuttle up there to do some maintenance because apparently this Hubble telescope was on life support as it could not reposition itself and collect solar power. So it was put to sleep and the service mission was brought forward as it was critical to keep the telescope operational. Now, during this, there were many people inside of the space shuttle looking out the porthole windows on the shuttle, as you're seeing in this image here. Now, I want you guys to look at the faces of these guys as they are snapping this picture. They do not have a look of, oh, wow, um, we're, we're doing a mission here. It's pretty boring, like your typical images you'd see. These guys are focused on something, every single one of them, and they're trying to capture something with their camera, and they sure did, and I don't think they know what it was. However, although I featured this very finding in a video I did probably three or four years ago, I actually just spoke with the man who actually has the credit of actually discovering what was within this image and others during this UFO occurrence. So at first glance, what we can see here in the background is the Earth. In the foreground, what you're seeing here is the, the, um, the Hubble telescope that is actually attached to the space shuttle that is used for EVAs and um, service missions and astronaut uh, spacewalks where the astronauts will be hooked to this arm and while it may look small in the pictures this robotic arm is massive we're talking bigger than a couple of school buses and as you're looking at this image you'll notice something in the distance right in between the hubble telescope and earth and as we zoom in here and as i analyze this image in that video i did three or four years ago i took this as an obvious ufo and that obviously looked to me like a metallic disc of some sort. Here you're seeing the zoomed in shot. This is not a part of the Hubble. This is not a part of the space shuttle. This is an object that was captured by the lens of the photographer inside the shuttle as he's pointing out. This is not a reflection. And you can tell that the object is outside of the shuttle because of the light and the shadows reflecting off of it. Or so I thought. I thought that this was just a simple flying saucer that was way in the distance possibly observing the space shuttle doing this work on the Hubble telescope. But as I spoke with the original person who discovered this, who is a Scotsman by the name of James Francis Welsh, well, he did an extensive analysis of this mission, going through hundreds and hundreds of photographs taken in sequence while they were repairing the Hubble here, and he published a book, what you're seeing here in 2014, detailing what he found out. And so he looked at these images, and what he found was that after putting them in sequence, this object that we are only seeing part of here is actually just one tiny little piece to something much 
larger that is hidden in the darkness of space, almost as if it were cloaked. And he also discovered, through the timestamps on the images, that whatever this object was, it lasted and hovered outside of the space shuttle for upwards of 45 minutes to an hour. And so he looked at this and said, okay, this looks maybe like a, a flying saucer in the distance. But then he started messing around with the gamma, the contrast, and the brightness of the image. And what he found when he increased and lowered these certain things, what he found, and what he told me, what he believes, is that what we are seeing here is not a flying saucer with the sunlight being reflected off of it, but is actually some sort of spotlight or light that is apart and coming from a very, very much larger UFO that we are not seeing. And he discovered that through the images that I'm showing you now. And there's quite a lot of them. And here is another frame where we can again see the sort of bluish white object as it was finally moving away. And again, this was found to be not a reflection from the inside of the space shuttle because when you actually increase the gamma and the contrast, you can see this massive ship that looks to have nuts and bolts and rivets and most importantly, shadows to it, which proves that it is outside of the space shuttle because in one image, as you're seeing here, you can actually see the shadow of the robotic arm of the space shuttle being cast on the object. So although the object is completely dark, and again, I don't know if it's cloaked or it was just covered in some sort of material that makes it completely pitch black where it absorbs zero sunlight, Mr. Welsh was actually able to find that there were several shadows coming from both the Hubble and the shuttle that were being cast down onto this massive object. And he actually took the separate frames of this object and stitched them together, trying to get an idea of how big this thing was. And that is what you are seeing here. And so this small white uh, little light that we see in the beginning is then revealed to simply be a very, very small part of a much larger craft. And so here you're seeing an image of this craft and you can clearly see what look like rivets, uh, nuts and bolts, whatever you want to call them. And you can see the shadow of one of these robotic arms reflecting off of this object. Now here we have another image where we can again see the object and there's actually a double effect due to the reflection of the camera. So what we're seeing both with the Hubble telescope as well as the UFO itself, we're seeing a double image, uh, one on top of the other. But as we zoom in here, we can clearly see metallic mechanical parts with lights coming in them. And none of what we're seeing here looks anything like the inside of the space shuttle. Again, this is not a reflection because in this image alone, you can see the shadow of the robotic arm that comes up and then curves to the right like a number seven at the end being cast onto this UFO. So it's an impossibility that this is simply a reflection from the inside of the shuttle. And furthermore, here you are seeing further pieces of this UFO or parts of this massive UFO, again with light and shadow, this very strange sort of T-shaped design that's a part of something. And here is a black and white image of the same sort of T-shaped, it almost looks like pipes that are interconnecting with one another outside of the ship and only visible once the contrast and gamma are pushed to their maximum levels to bring this out. And again, this is space, there is no atmosphere, and so if there was nothing there, we would see nothing but darkness, no matter how much we messed with the coloring, the gamma, the contrast, or the brightness. And so Mr. Welsh goes into detail uh, in his book regarding this incident, and I had never heard of it before, and I just met Mr. Welsh who contacted me and said, hey, I was actually the original person who found this and I, and I actually included it in my book. I studied it extensively. And so I'm gonna check out his book. There's a digital version of it on Amazon and I'll put that link down below as well and show him some love. But yeah, there is something here as you can see in these stitched together images where we are seeing 
something. You know, that's up for you guys to decide, but when looking at these images, uh, it is totally mind-blowing. And again, I will just leave you with this image of the astronauts inside the shuttle that were watching this craft and snapping photograph after photograph of it, trying to figure out what it was. You can see the total shock and mystery on each and every one of their faces as they stare out the window at this thing because it sure isn't the Hubble Space Telescope being repaired that has got this group of men looking like they've just seen a ghost. So again, really, really interesting find. Big thanks to Mr. Welsh for sending me over these images that are in his book. I asked him also to join on Discord so we could discuss more. According to him, he has many more UFO findings as well as personal sightings, photographs and videos of UFOs, and we may get him on for a future interview. So with that, guys, I want to thank you for stopping by. What do you think about this new Pentagon report? Did I tell you? Are you really that surprised? And thank you guys again. You continue to send in your fan photos, um, wearing your merch, your hoodies, your t-shirts, showing you guys some of those pics here. You guys are just simply awesome. The, the, the Insomnia family, and especially since being on Discord and being able to uh, chat with you guys, it's just, it, it takes it to a whole nother level. So if you guys want to stop by Discord, by all means, I'm usually there in the chat every night in the Insomnia chat. Check my last video for instructions on how to operate Discord. Stop by uh, secureteamtees.com and use code PENTAGON20 for 10% off all Insomnia merch only for the next four days. So stay tuned, follow us on Instagram, stay safe, and I will see you back in just a bit.